Lava continues to flow on Hawaii's Big Island, where it's now destroyed a 300-year-old lake. At 10 a.m. Saturday, June 2nd, lava entered Green Lake within Kapoho Crater, producing a large steam plume. By 1.30 p.m., the steam plume had ceased, and by 3 p.m., a Hawaii County Fire Department overflight reported that lava had filled the lake and apparently evaporated all the water. And here's an image of the lake uh, where apparently it's in mid-evaporation. Now, Green Lake was a five acres body of fresh water in the pit of an old crater near Kapoho. This cone in Lower Puna was formed by magma, erupting through groundwater 300 to 350 years ago. The spring-fed lake developed soon thereafter. It was known to Hawaiians as Kawai Apele. Now, I want to show you some old images of how the lake used to look, but before I get there, I want to uh, read off some of this blog post from 2013 describing how the lake looked. Green Lake, locally known as Kawaii Pele, may not be among Hawaii's most popular tourist destinations, but it is one of the most scenic natural spots on the Big Island. Sitting in the center of a lush rainforest, the lake is actually a 400-year-old freshwater-filled crater several hundred feet deep. It is the largest of only two freshwater lakes on the Big Island. The lake is just over one mile from the Pacific Ocean and 25 miles from the active Kilauea volcano. Vegetation surrounding the lakeshore includes kukiwi nut trees, guava trees, banana, and other native plants. When you arrive at the water's edge, you are only three feet above sea level. Now, I find this story sort of haunting. Here's this lake that was here for hundreds of years, and now in less than a day, it's gone. All the people that enjoyed that lake, all over the, the years and years and years that, that it was there, it's just, it's gone. And the whole thing is sort of weird to me. Now, I want to read over this. Um, so I'm going to show you a few images. Uh, surprisingly, there aren't that many images that I could find of this lake online. But what I can find, I'm going to show you while reading some excerpts from Mid-Pacific Magazine from 1912 and 1920, as well as a report from a missionary. And uh, all of this information was collected by Peter T. Young. And I have a link in the description to that exact blog post. So Here's some images while I read over some of these old excerpts. From Mid-Pacific Magazine in 1912. Green Lake is a little pond covering perhaps 15 acres of water, which has precisely the same shade of muddy green you used to get in your box of watercolors when you were a lad. You remember the shade you used to color the trees in the pictures in your school geography. It is remarkable that the pool should be there in a waterless country, and the tree-clad slopes about the lake make a pretty picture. Therefore, the Green Lake is worthwhile. From Mid-Pacific Magazine in 1920. Probably the most striking scenic point about Kapohu is Green Lake, a beautiful body of deep green water occupying the crater called Waiai Pele, Pele's Lake. And from missionary William Ellis in the late 1800s. The placid surface of the lake, disturbed only by the boys and girls diving and sporting in its waters. The serpentine walks among the luxuriant gardens along its margin. The tranquil occupations of the inhabitants some weaving mats, others walking cheerfully up and down the winding paths among the steep rocks. But had tradition been silent, the volcanic nature of the rocks, the structure of the large basin in which we were standing, and the deep hollow in the center, which we were viewing, would have carried conviction to every beholder that it had once been the seat of volcanic fires. There's something powerful, knowing that a lake that is at least, or was at least, 300 years old, was written about since the late 1800s and the early 1900s, that that lake is now gone. That people that experienced it and want to go back, can't. Or people that never saw it and want to go see it, can't. So, this is a reminder of, one, how powerful Mother Nature is. That, you know, <laughs> anything and anyone can be destroyed at any one time, gone forever. But also, knowing that... It makes you more aware of how fragile life is and how much you should be loving your life in the moment. Enjoy what you do. Enjoy the people you spend time with. Don't waste it. So if there's something you want to go do, if there's, if there's a place you want to go see, if there's, if there's people you want to spend time with, do it. Because one day it just might all evaporate.